Hey everyone, it's story time with Andy. I'm glad you're reading with us today. We are reading a really fun book. It's called Three Hens and a Peacock. You can see the three hens are the three chickens right there and the peacock. And this book is all about figuring out that everybody has something they're really good at. Um, and in, in this story, it's about how the chickens have something they're good at and the peacock has something they're good at. And um, it just kind of shows how they all work together on the farm doing what they do best, okay? It's a really fun story. Um, I hope my friends Sophie and Stella in North Carolina enjoy this. I thought about them when I was reading this because you'll see the chickens kind of get dressed up during a part of it. And I know that Sophie and Stella love to get dressed up, so it just kind of made me giggle and think about you two girls, okay? All right, so as always, get your paper and pencil ready. We're gonna draw at the end and we are going to draw a peacock today okay all right so be sure to have that ready at the end of the book but first we are going to read so get ready for three hens and a peacock this is three hens and a peacock by Lester L Laminac things were quiet on the Tucker's farm the cows chewed their cud the hens clucked and pecked and laid their eggs and the old hound stretched out on the porch watching and listening once in a while, someone would stop by to buy tomatoes or corn, perhaps a quart of milk, and nothing unusual happened there. Until that peacock showed up. The cows and the hens and the old hound kept right on doing what they'd always done. But that peacock had never lived on a farm. He had no idea what to do. So he spread his fancy feathers and set to shrieking. Eventually, the peacock wandered down to the road and when cars whizzed by, he shook his feathers and cried out in his loudest voice. Ah! Of course, folks stopped for a closer look. Day after day, more folks stopped to admire the peacock and they all bought tomatoes and corn, eggs and milk. Business on the Tucker's farm was booming and everyone seemed happy to have visitors stopping by but trouble was brewing in the hen house the hens were squawking and clucking and flapping their wings we do all the work around here i'd like to see that peacock like one single leg exactly he just struts around screaming i suppose fancy feathers are more important than laying eggs ruff, ruff, ruff. That lazy peacock gets all the attention and we do all the work, work, work. The peacock had heard every word and for days he moped about moaning and groaning. I wish I could be more useful around here. Hmm, clucked one hen. The others ruffled their feathers and the old hound stretched and slowly raised his head. Why not let the peacock stay here to be useful? while you hens take the glamorous job down by the road. The three hens began clucking to one another. What a wonderful plan. Yes, it's a fabulous idea. Oh, ladies, we simply must fancy up our feathers tonight and nothing but our brightest beads, bangles, and bows. We'll strap traffic for sure. Why, you girls know I can strap with the best of them. Ruff, ruff, ruff. The peacock perked up. Let's do it, he declared. Tomorrow, I'll stay here, sit on a nest, and cluck. And we'll get all gussied up, said the hens. We'll be so glamorous, cluck, 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 cluck. At sunrise the next morning, the hens strutted down to the road. And the peacock marched right into the hen house and poked his head inside. The hens flocked by the road waiting for a car. When they saw one approaching, they clucked and squawked and flapped their wings in a flurry of feathers, but every car whizzed on by. Meanwhile, the peacock sucked in his tummy and wiggled from left to right, trying to squeeze through the tiny hen house door. His front half was in, but his back half was out. Down by the road, those hens tried every chicken trick they knew, and still no cars stopped. Finally, the peacock made it into the hen house. He held his breath and pushed with all his might. But no matter how hard he tried, he could not lay a single egg. 
not one. The old hound stretched out on the porch, watching and listening. What's the peacock doing in the hen house? asked Farmer Tucker. Who knows, said Mrs. Tucker. And what are those hens doing down by the road? Not a one of them is up here laying eggs. Well, the way things are going, we aren't likely to have anyone buying eggs today, said Farmer Tucker. We need that peacock down there stopping cars. When the peacock heard that, he smiled the biggest smile you've ever seen on a bird's beak. I am helping, he thought. He squirmed back and forth until he popped out of the cramped hen house and then he trotted off to find the hens. The exhausted hens were all clucked out. Every feather was out of place. What a day. We couldn't get one car to stop. It's true why most of them didn't even slow down. The peacock met the hens as they trudged up the road. I can tell you I'm no good at laying eggs, he said. I'm just not meant for it. One head nodded. I put on my stellar strut and I even couldn't stop a single car, she said. I have to hand it to you, fancy feathers. Your job is harder than it looks. The other hens agreed and the peacock looked relieved. So the hens marched back to the hen house and the peacock strutted down to the road and the old hound stretched out on the porch, watching and listening. And things were quiet again on the Tucker's farm. Until <laughs> the end. All right, you guys, that was a fun book. I love seeing how um, the chickens and the peacock realize that they're all working together to help sell the eggs and that everybody has an important role. And a peacock can't do what chickens can do, and chickens cannot do what a peacock can do, right? I love that. So we are going to draw the peacock from this story, um, and we're gonna draw this one right here. He's looking very proud of himself as the people come to see him and buy the produce. And you can see his big tail in the background, okay? So we are going to draw that. Let's see get my eraser marks off of my page. All right, and here we go. So, peacocks can be kind of tricky, but you know, it's just drawing, we're just having fun. So we're gonna draw his body first, okay? So kind of start mm, maybe in the middle of your page somewhere, and we're gonna draw his long neck, and then keep going down till right about there, okay? So just one big swoop. And then we're gonna come over here, make his head. We're gonna draw a beak, so point it out a little bit. And then keep drawing a long neck. And then let's do a little bit of a tummy. Come down here and stop, okay? So you can kind of see his body coming together already. Um, we're going to draw his wing first. So draw a straight line out here, and then a curve down this way and then you can just kind of connect them with some uh, zigzags right there. So there's one of his wings. I guess we can draw his tail up here and just connect it. And um, now that he has a body, we can draw his feet. So you're gonna do one stick down, one stick down. Kinda give him three toes, okay? One stick down, two stick down, three toes, easy peasy. Okay, we're going to work on his face. So he, like I said, he has this big beak here. Kind of do a line going in like that. That shows where his beak stops. You're gonna do just a little tick mark right there. That's where he, um, that's where his nose is. And then you can do a smile just like this to show that he is really proud of himself. And we're going to draw his eyes. His eyes are actually closed in this picture. So just make a little U, and that's an easy way to show that somebody's eyes are closed. And we can kind of draw some markings around his face like that, okay? All right, peacocks have this really fancy kind of like a, I don't know what to call it, um, but they have these fancy top feathers. And so we're gonna draw that. It's really easy, we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I chose eight, you can do five, you can do seven, you can do nine, you go nuts. And then we're gonna draw U's on top, U, U, you, 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 you. 
And then we're just gonna draw a line on top of each of those. And there is his fancy headpiece right there. Looking very proud already and we don't even have the tail yet, okay? Now we're gonna draw this big tail. So come to about where his belly is down here and just draw a line going out almost to the end of your page, okay? As far as you can. The bigger the line is, the bigger his tail is gonna be. And then we're gonna do it over on this side. Again, almost to the end of the page. And now for the fun part, you just kind of take your pen and go nuts making a big tail behind him, okay? Mine kind of ran off the page, but that's all right. So there's his big tail. And now you can draw um, some peacock feathers on it. So I want to flip to this inside page so you can kind of see what those look like. Again, we're just having fun, but it's kind of like one long stick and a circle up here with some colors in it, okay? so. You can do that all over the tail. You can do a long stick, some um, circles up here. You can make some longer than others, shorter than others. And then you color it in, of course, with peacock colors. So blues and greens, teal, kind of some oranges snuck in there, some golds all sorts of colors, but you just keep filling this in with peacock colors, okay? I'm not gonna fill in the whole thing, but you can do it after our video is done, all right? So, there is our proud peacock feeling so happy about himself. And we're gonna draw the name of the book so we don't forget, oh my goodness, he has such a big tail, I didn't leave very much room, but I think we can squeeze it in. Three hens and a peacock. Maybe I'll do it down at the bottom here. Okay, you ready? Three, T H R E E H E N S. Three hens. A N D A and a P E A C O C. Okay, three hens and a peacock. There you go, great job. I hope you have a lot of fun making that tail really colorful. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that book. I love it because it shows that the chickens have something that they're really good at, the peacock has something he's really good at, and together they make the farm and the produce stand that much better, right? So it might be the same deal for you if you're on a soccer team. You might have something that you're really good at, or um, maybe in your family, you're really good at something and it makes the whole rest of the family work better. Maybe in your classroom, who knows? But I know you've got something you're really good at and I'm so glad you bring that to the table, okay? Um, I wonder, remember at the end of the story where it kind of showed an egg falling off of the truck again and the chickens and the peacock kind of looking down on it? I wonder what egg that is. Hmm, maybe it's like an emu or a flamingo, who knows? Maybe they'll write another book, we'll see. And I wanna show you the very back of the book because it's funny and it made me laugh, so maybe it will make you laugh. So here's the front, you saw it already. Here's the back, <laughs> okay? All right, thank you guys so much for reading with me today. I wanna see those drawings, so if you drew your peacock today, I wanna see it, you can put it on Facebook or Instagram. And as always, stay well and keep on reading, all right? Bye.